What we need at this uh, particular time is that it's true. There have been celebrations for independence. But what we require most is statesmanship. We need the two leaders to rise to the, above the fray and bring together the people of South Sudan and move forward in an inclusive manner to resume the talks, to silence the guns, and also to move towards a national dialogue, solutions to what the ailments of South Sudan is. That is the way to go. And I'm hopeful. I have not lost hope. Uh, the saying is that when you fall, what is important is not the fall, but that you rise up. So it has been a challenge to us, to all the people of South Sudan, but what matters is for us to rise up and tie our goods and actually stand up and move forward. So the talks are important to us. Security is important to us. The free movement of our people are important to us. Democracy is important to us. And therefore, we all hope that appeal. And, we are, we, and I must say, I must give credit to uh, President Salva Kiir for uh, showing the uh, olive leaf by saying he appeals to his brother, Riyak Machar, uh, to come and resume the talks. I also thank Machar for responding very positively. So to our two leaders, I said the time is now and this is the challenge for you two to rise up to the challenge and unite the people of South Sudan towards reconciliation, towards peace, towards stability for the sake of the country, but also for the sake of all those who lost their lives fighting for this independence.